Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Hope you're doing well. So Leo, this video will be for you if you have any Leo placements or if you're dealing with a Leo. So guys, um, the competition has been reset. So in order to win a tarot card or oracle card, all you've got to do is comment where you're watching from, okay? I'll be picking the winner next Wednesday, okay? Remember to like, subscribe, okay guys? So I'm going to get straight into reading and see what comes out for you today. All right, so let's jump straight into it, guys. Tell me about, tell me about Leo, please. Uh, a dream come true. Some of you guys, it's a dream come true, a wish, okay? Could be uh, about an Aquarius or um, doesn't have to be something that you've been wanting. Tell me about uh, Leo, please. The King of Wands. The Hierophant. Some of you guys could be connecting um, with a Taurus or a Fire Sign, Aries, Aries, Sagittarius. Okay. Some of you guys, there could be a relationship coming up. Some of you guys, children. It could be um, it could be grandchildren as well. Nieces, nephews. King of Swords. Why? The lovers. Okay, um, that's interesting. With the Knight of Wands, King of Swords and the Lovers, I do feel like somebody has something to say about a, a connection in particular, okay? Um, like, is this person, um, like, what are they like as a person? I'm getting more conversation to the Pentacles and some of you guys are reassuring them, like, no, this person's good. They're, you know, I trust them. They They do what they say. Somebody follows through with their actions. Page of Swords. Some somebody's very protective over you, Leo. Some of you guys could have um, a cancer in your chart as well, because something's a little bit like that come out in their reading. Okay, especially if somebody has something to something to say about your connection. Okay, whether it be new or if you've been with this person for a while. All right, or if you're dealing with a cancer. So, yeah, somebody is very protective of you. Um, the tower, the page of swords of the tower. Okay, somebody's scared that um there's gonna be uh something that they can't control, the strength, but they have to okay, so it's like, do you know what? Yeah, this is crazy. This is crazy. This is really this is really like um very similar energy. I would not be surprised if you were dealing with the cancer or somebody with cancer placements or if you have them. Leo ace of cups okay so yeah so either you are or will be in a relationship with somebody okay five of cups the four of swords so maybe you guys could have taken a break from love in the past and it's kind of, it could have happened quite quickly and you're like, whoa. But I do see you guys working on it. And this person working on it. Tell me more, please. The Six of Cups. The Seven of Swords. Okay, so um, there has definitely been deceit in the past. Maybe not with this person, but in previous con connections. And this, that's why somebody could be very protective of you, Leo. Okay. Queen of Cups. Yeah, that person loves Someone loves you. Okay, so I, I want to say if somebody's like getting on your nerves, just know that they're doing it because they love you. If someone's like on your case about who this person is, what their intentions are with you, please know that that's their way and they're doing it because they care. Okay, the Queen of Swords, the Eight of Swords, the Emperor. There's also a, a conversation about remaining to be independent, not relying on somebody, okay, completely, all right? Making sure that you're not stuck and that you're making sensible choices. Some of you guys, you're having this conversation with yourself, like, like let me make sure that I'm doing, that I'm being, um, let's just say, practical in regards to uh, a connection or how things can go, okay? So I'm getting some, something about savings then. It could be about savings. Tell me more, please. Nine of Swords. The Ten of Cups. So if you guys have anxiety over like... It could be like family, it could be children and stuff like that, okay? Or the Eight of Cups in reverse. Okay. 
Okay. I see somebody returning or not going anywhere. Okay, so just in case whoever wants to know that, this person won't go anywhere. Especially if you guys are happy and stuff like that. So if you're wondering if this person is going to up and leave, no, they're not. King of Cups, this person loves you. Look at that. Could be a water sign or somebody very emotional. Okay, King of Cups and Eight of Cups in reverse. So if any of you are wondering, like, I wonder this, if this person truly loves me or they truly be there for me. Yes, they will. All right. What else can you tell me for... Um, What else can you tell me for Leo? Three of Swords, High Priestess, and there's Ten of Swords. You have this back and forth. Some of you guys are quite hormonal, or it's, it's, it's either hormones, anxiety. Um, some of you guys can be very sensitive and just concerned about... Um, the future i would say live in the moment and enjoy right now okay don't stay stuck in the past and then don't worry about the future enjoy the present moment i want to use some um romance cards for you guys tell me more about uh leo tell me more about leo please life partner okay Life part. Okay, let's see. So we have life partner. Your romance is stable and ready to go the distance. And then we have here time apart, uh, a time of separation. So that could be due to work. That could be due to many different things. Doesn't mean you guys are actually separated. So if you guys, it may be um, so many different things. Maybe you live at a distance. And so maybe some of you guys have not moved in with each other yet. Okay. We have here material attachment. Too much focus on visible trap trappings. Okay, so I'd say I'd say um Okay, so some oh okay, so somebody could be away because they're working and they're trying to get things that you guys need, especially if you have a family or if you have like a lot of bills or whatever it is okay but i don't feel like it's like separation like even though it says that i don't feel like it's that with the energy that's come out before what else can you tell me please so we have third party so let's, there could have been somebody involved at some point okay you may be dealing with a karmic situation. I don't look, I'm gonna be real with you guys. I know some people are really they really subscribe to that. I know it is what it is. Like, yeah, anyways. Um that could have been a past thing, okay, or uh, worry about that. We have love affirmations, love language affirmations, loving words hold great power. I would say um just keep keep uplifting each other each other okay whether it's the leo i'm speaking to or or the cross watch i could keep, keep uplifting each other and speak the, you know good things to and about each other that will keep the connection stronger okay and if somebody has been in a third party a love triangle whatever you would like to call it um it could make it's kind of like reverse psychology you know if you're constantly saying to that person i know you're cheating i know you're doing this but you know if you like kind of um just say do you know what you're amazing at say you're amazing at being a mother you're amazing at being a father you're in, you're you're amazing at cooking those things keep keep saying those things okay to make that person like that's that's the best way to go around it unless you know if you want to move forward with that if that is the case for some of you guys all right i'm going to pull um one of these cards to close the reading out um actually i'll do two i just did two for cancer i'll do two for you guys two for leo please okay quite a few come up but obviously will be all day if i was to read that so that's not happening so let's see oh that's interesting after what i've just said to whom am I comparing myself right now? Let's see. What you are able to see in 
in another is only visible because it is within you, ready to be brought out. Shine light on this feeling of not enough and see the truth. All that you need and what you want is within you. It's true. Sometimes we just have to lift those barriers and free ourselves from that mental that mental tie that you know restrictions that we have today's soul action today stop comparing and start creating okay and I, I feel like that addresses what I was speaking about about the love language affirmations speaking good things to each other okay whether you're single right now or in a relationship it could be single and what's coming up all right and we have the last one is what if it was easy oh I don't know if I read this before let's see it doesn't have to be hard Call in the universe, the stars, the angels and all and all their power. Find the solution. Would you take the next step if it was easy? It's time to expect ease, call in grace and receive guidance. You are supported. OK, and to those, uh, today's soul action is list 10 possible ideals for your soul's current calling. Le lean into ease. It's here. You just have to say yes to it okay all right guys i'm gonna leave that let uh leave that there please like share subscribe comment where you're watching from good luck with the competition and i'll see you guys in your next reading bye guys